Sorry. I, I, I get to see you once this year, so I, I have to have a chat with you. Like, we, won't, we don't only need to focus on this game. We can, we can focus on all of it. What's going on, guys? We're here with Bree King after Canada's 3-1 loss to the United States here in week two in Arling Arlington. We're here with Bree King. Sorry, not Bree King. Bree O'Reilly. Bree O'Reilly. It, like, it's going to take me a while. It's, it's going to take me a while. I, I apologize to your husband. Um, and, and, to, and to you, of course, we're here with Brio O'Reilly. Um, a tough 3-1 loss for, for, for the team tonight. Do you feel like there was certain points that, that, that were, that were kind of left a little, that there was the mismanagement in, in transition and that offensively things went great, but there was some mismanagement in transition and some opportunities left on the table tonight? Yeah, I think our block D system in general wasn't at our best tonight. Um, obviously, we've just gone a week without playing a game, so... It's to be expected a little bit, but we need to make those adjustments quicker. Um, we made a lot of unforced errors. Everyone, including myself, they didn't. <laughs> so it's hard to... Zero errors yeah, in the first set. Yeah, oh, well, I know. Um, it's hard to win volleyball games against great teams like that when you're giving them so many free points. Um, so, yeah, I definitely feel like we have another level that we can get to. I'm really happy that we got a set. Um, we all know how important every set is. So that was gritty, I thought, and... <laughs> Um, yeah, I think we have a lot more in the tank to bring against the next three teams. I lost a bet. That's why I'm wearing this hideous thing. Um, but, you know, not focusing on this game, focusing on, on more of the overall. You guys just came off probably your most successful week of VNL ever in, in Brazil going 3-1, beating the Dominican Republic, which we know how big of a rivalry that is, taking down China now, two wins in a row against a top, a top team like that. How good is this team feeling right now? And we obviously all know the goal. We know the goal is to qualify for Paris in, in later on this summer, and you guys have moved on into that uh, position, but job's not done. Yeah. Obviously, job's not done. You've got three big games against Germany, Serbia, uh, and then Korea this week. So first and foremost, how, what was the, the feeling of this team coming, in, coming into the season? I know you guys didn't have a long time to prepare, but then you also you came in like best week of VNL ever in Brazil last week. And what was the feeling coming in to, to Arlington this week? Yeah, um, the feeling is we really want to qualify. <laughs> and you can really feel that on the court every point. Um, I think this game is a perfect example in past years playing USA, probably we are more okay with a loss. Um, this felt like a missed opportunity because we know how valuable each game is and you don't get to play top teams that many times. Um, but in general, like last week we lost our first game against Brazil and came back with a fire lit and took care of three really tough opponents. So I am 100% expecting the same thing this week and have complete confidence in our group. and. I just think we have we have all the pieces to do it. We just have to execute, and yeah, I have zero doubt that we're going to do it. So I'm excited to get back on the court. <laughs> now, if we look back, like the the, the growth of this team, yeah. 2021 was the first VNL back in Rimini in the bubble, and then just improvements consistently into now. You know, with with big upsets like. Do you have the opportunity to kind of take a step back and realize the growth that this team has come from, like? When you, if you had told me that we would be potentially vying for a, an Olympic spot back in 2021, I, I, I would have laughed. And yet this team has come so far and, and done so much. Do you have time to kind of take a step back and, and realize that? Or is it more about let's focus on the goal because that's what we're going for? I, right now, I'm pretty dialed into the goal. I think there's little moments here and there where usually after wins, big wins, it kind of feels like this is kind of feels like magic a little bit. Um, and it really is. If we've done amazing things, we've grown, and that's just a result of everyone like giving 100% effort to this group and to this team and to improving. Because really, you can see each individual player, the development has just been insane. Which Nuts. Which collectively makes us really special. So I think right now in VNL, I'm extremely focused on the game, the next game in front of us because we don't have another choice. There's not really time to think about all that, but I think when we qualify, it will definitely sink in more the growth and, and all the people that have come before us to kind of pave that way and that we've sort of grabbed this opportunity and run with it. Um, it is definitely special and we're all very aware of that, but we're kind of like, we don't have time to think about that. We need to think about how are we going to beat Germany, you know? So... 100%. I mean, like, the growth of this team coming from VNL 2021 and moving up has been has been incredible. I mean, if people don't remember, you guys were 
inches away from qualifying directly. Had you guys beat the Dominican Republic, I don't want to bring up bad memories for both you and I, but had you beat the Dominican Republic in the Olympic qualified, you guys would have been qualified already. Looking forward, next up is Germany or Serbia? Germ Germany, on, Germany on Thursday? <laughs> Germany on Thursday, Serbia on, on, on Friday? Shannon's already given me the, she's, anything over two minutes is too long for Shannon. Uh, you, got, you got Germany next. What does this team have to do to prepare to get back into the win, win column on, on Thursday and potentially go, you know, three and, three and out uh, the rest of this week? I think just focus on things that we did well tonight. I thought we served great. We attacked really well and make little adjustments tomorrow in practice about what we can improve. And then really it's just showing up to that game with 100% belief and like shoulders back, head up that we're the better team and we're going to take it these next three matches. Um, I think that mindset, we had it all week last week and we had it tonight. We really believe that we were going to win tonight and that's why it feels disappointing. A three it was there. Totally. And a 3-1 loss to USA is pretty good for us, you know, and that's not how we feel. We're not satisfied unless we win. So I think we're going to keep that mindset and keep doing what we're doing. I fully agree with you. Like, I think last year I would have been stoked with the 3-1 loss. Of the way, and tonight I'm, I'm a little, dis I'm with you. I'm a little disappointed because I felt like there was a little bit left on the court and that this wasn't our best, you know, your best performance of the tournament. However, hey, there's, there's always another game. Our, okay, yeah, I, 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 I'm, as much as I'm wearing this terrible shirt, like, you, you, you guys know where, where my, where my heart lies. Um, but, What's, what's it been like? Like, it seems like you, like you guys are the closest team. Like, if you look at how the bench is working together, like, how has that growth been with this team? And, and what makes this year to be, you guys just seem to be that, up that extra level of closeness. I think our team is unique. We have had the same group for a few years now. And I think role clarity is great. Everybody knows what they can bring and what they do bring every day and is committed to that 100%. And I think that that sort of magic of, believing that we can qualify has really like brought us closer we know that we can like out team other teams just because we're so locked into each other and playing for each other and I truly like I know that if we're going to qualify it's going to be because we're all making each other better on the court we don't have another option we don't like we, we gotta um, I guess be making each other better and so that's just become part of our identity to enjoy it to have fun to play free all those kind of intangibles that make it special to watch us play I think. Well, Brie, regardless of the result tonight, I, I need to let you know Canada is super proud of what this team has done over the course of the past few years and of, of the course of, of this VNL. And job's not done. Yeah. Kobe, job's not done. But uh, we're ready for it. Great job last week. Great job tonight. And best of luck throughout the rest of the week. Awesome. Thanks, Brie. No, let's, let's, yeah, that, that's better. Also, the 